what's going on guys it's the end of october we caught a variety of fish today stick around check it out It is. Oh, they're right behind the boat. It's a gray. That's a keeper gray, too. You want? They're up, they're up on the floor. Oh, yeah. It's 12 and a half, 13. Great trout like to hit right at the high tide too. I just think it's funny that the left side, like over there we caught a speck, over here is crazy, and over there there's blue fish. Well they hang out together. Just a little scene. Another trout. Great. That's a bad. That's not bad. He was a little small. Caught that one a little further out, like toward the bridge. That was weird. I was getting hit every cast on a soft plastic, and then I throw a, a gold spoon out. It's just not even really getting looked. There it is. Z-Man, greasy prawn. Oh, that's just a good feeling right there, Brian. Ooh, that's <laughs> fighting good and current. I love catching bluefish, man. Oh. Bluefish. That is a nice one. Bluefish, man. <laughs> yeah. We got two grays and two bluefish, but we cast it for 20 minutes. Or two of of grays, two of blues. There's what we're looking for. Right this is a better one. Oh, no. I heard that drag. So this is a better one. Two, three, yeah, we got four, five, yeah, we 
six. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. I would. Oh, that water's hot. I think the water's still close to 70 degrees. No, it's been very, it's been, that's what I'm saying. The trout bites have been weird. It's been hot. Well, they're not going to really school up until it gets real cold. You know, cooler anyway. Black drum. Black drum on a freaking prawn artificial. It's a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice black drum. He smoked it too, didn't he? Yes, he did. Okay, buddy. Woo. See where he's going. He's just caught in that current. He does not want to come over here. What contest you got on there? Ten. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that's give him a, some that's time. Five six pounder. That was a nice run. That, I might have to take some of them frozen shrimp out, put one on the bottom. But that's sitting right there. You know what I mean? All right. got him hooked weird. Yeah, he's hooked in the bottom of the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> TV black drum on artificial? Definitely. Yeah, had him hooked in the throat. Nineteen and a half. Heck yeah. Oh, there he was. That's what I was looking for. I think he fouled my soft plastic. That was a good hit. Oh, we came back for it. Oh, we came back. Ah, my big call. He let it go again. No, he's coming at me. It's got to be a blue doing that. that. Huh? Oh, it's a herd of bluefish. Look at them all. Let go, Moss. <laughs> this is why you buy Elastex. <laughs> that is exactly why you buy that bait. I think I've had this pack for like two years. <laughs> this is my last one. It's a forever purchase. Listen, for a couple dollars more a pack, they sure do work. I mean, they get tore up. But, I mean, you can fish three, four, five days on a pack of baits if you got to feed in. That being said, those green curly tail grubs, when the trout are fired up, they like them things. That's why I put them away. I was with like... that redhead? <laughs> I've got a lot of speckled trout. I don't know. Them. A lot. Keeper. Yeah, we already got two grays in the box. Not pretty. 
pretty great trout. Yeah, he is. Heck yeah. I would Still. much rather eat them little ones, to be quite honest with you. There's something good. That's a trout. Okay. Feels like, uh, I don't know, might be a blue. I don't care, whatever it is, we get a boat and that Whatever it is, it's got some weight to it. Trout. Gray? Yeah. Speckled trout. <laughs> and we put a little asterisk there for black trout. <laughs> that was cool. I, Honorable I, mention. I've never caught a black drum out in the channel throwing artificial. I've caught them on like flats and stuff. Or like you're casting at fish, like redfish. But I have never caught one like just open artificial fishing in the ICW. In the, in the that tide starting to turn. You want to go head over to the other side here in a second? Sure. Until we fish this just a second longer. That's better. I got two two hooks set up here. teeth. Look at that thing. No, he ain't dead. That's a monster. He's he's a citation. Dude. They're still here. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up and it felt like I was hung on the bottom and he just started moving. I was like, am I hung? And then zzz, on that little bitty two eye. That little two on hook, that circle I was using for mullets earlier. Mm. That's a stud. Either I haven't seen a big sheep's head in a while. No, that thing is heavy. That's Look. A big fish. He might be. That might be a ten. I put some sevens in that cooler. 
Oh, he's over eight pounds. I, I, I'd say eight and a half. To... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh. They're here, man. That was a, that was the big crab. Yeah, dive. Yeah. Let's see what you got on this guy. This is the biggest one I've caught here this year, for sure. Eh, yeah, maybe not. He's, I'd say about 21 to the fork. How, how long total length? Pull total tail length? Back. 23? Almost 23. He's close to me. Well, I mean. He's fat. I mean, look at that thing right there. That's a fat sheep's head right there. Nice one, man. Let's get another one. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a freaking stud. That's a stout fish. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. Uh. He swam out so quick, too. And that was... Yeah, he, he had the advantage when he got around that corner. Uh, that was... Yeah, that was a nice fish. This is a two-odd eagle claw circle with a smell. And it was buried in the corner of his mouth. And I'm using about 30-pound fluorocarbon right now. Mm. I had to cut it out of the rig, but it held up good. No chafes on it. I hear you. I'm still kind of thinking I'm getting more bites on the lighter back. Oh, there he is. That ain't the one. No, sir. Ain't a bad one, though. I mean, that's a 11, 12 inch sheep's head. That's definitely way wise. Okay, here he's here. He's almost 12? Almost 12. That's a nice sheep's head. It just doesn't look the same. Yeah, I don't know if that bite would have held up though, you know what I mean? You're right. Yeah, you, it's a good thing we came over here. Yeah, I don't know if that bite would have held up. I'd rather run out of bait and catch some big fish than have too much bait. That was on a whole crab cut. Little whole crab cut. About like this one? See, you weren't thinking this was going to be a bite this lake here, right? Mm, I've caught some big ones into November. But just it's so shallow. Mm, the water's warm. Yeah? So maybe it's a water temp thing? I think so, yeah. They go in deeper water when it gets cold. No, he's already on again. Ooh, that was another big one. Dude, I just reeled down and it was like... See here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see Okay. 
think we're on low tide now. That's cool, huh? Low tide. Low tide, dead low tide. That's another 19, 20 inch fish. Shoot! Okay, we gotta do that. Come on. Dude. <laughs> That's not a half crab on a Carolina rig. <laughs> on the bottom. I knew there had to be another decent one there. and a little over 21 total length. Nice, nice fish. It's oh, a heavy fish. That's another five pounder. Is this? Why? Why is dead low tide the bite here? Ooh, lip hook. Don't know. Well, that was a fun day of fall fishing. We couldn't have asked for better weather. Hope you guys enjoy watching this. We'll see you next time.